Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I will introduce you how to run external Python codes in Jupyter Notebook. Uh, I will talk about three topics. The first one is how to run python.py files in Jupyter Notebook cell. The second is how to run Jupyter Notebook.ipynb files in a shell. The third is how to run codes from Python or IPython shells. Let's come to the first topic, how to run Python.py files. Yeah, there are two ways. The first one is to run a .py files inside the Jupyter Notebook cell. The second one is run .py file from building terminal of Jupyter Notebook. <clears throat> Let's see the first methods. The first method is, is to use a magic command pressing. Let's see an example. Go to my working directory and see I prepare two .py files. The first is a uh, a plot.py, the second is greeting.py. Let's see, the first one is a very general, uh, simple function, uh, .py file, not a function. The second is a function. Let's see. Uh, this uh, file is used to use numpy. Maybe I'll make it larger. Make it a little bit larger is numpy and matplotlib to plot a sync curve. It's a sync curve. Yeah, very simple code. Let's run this first. Let's use a magic command is run magic command run this plot dot pi the name of the file we run it yeah the same curve comes the second we try to run a function or class here is a function we use the magic command to let's see the function I prepare is greeting dot pi also very simple one is we define a function hello give the uh, uh, augment name then print hello name yeah very simple uh, example okay let's run it press in yeah run greeting dot pi that's right it's fine but nothing comes yeah because just now I show you this is a function so we should call the function let's call it because it's a hello so we give a augment for example check no we Call the function. So the result is hello Jack. Hmm, not too bad. Let's see if the still a second method. We regard the dot pi as a module. I mean, the function or class is a module. So we import the module. Import greeting. Maybe we use a we use a short form as JT, yeah, greeting. Then we call this function hello. Maybe we uh, is JT because JT, yeah, the module JT. The function hello, Jack. Let's write. Yeah, it's a hello Jack. 
is very convenient. The second way to run .py file is from the built-in terminal. If you are not familiar about the built-in terminal, you can watch my previous video. Also, um, you know, some Windows system facing the problem of unavailable terminals. Yeah, for, uh, for the Jupyter Notebook, uh, I also talking about how to solve this problem uh, in my previous video. In fact, run.py file in the building in terminal is just like we we do that in a normal terminal in our Linux, uh, Mac, or, or Windows. Of course, in Windows, we, we usually uh, refer to the CMD or PowerShell. The good thing is when we working with a, with a built-in terminal, we are already in the working directory. Let's see. Yeah, we uh, open a terminal. We go to the new terminal. Yeah, you see, it's already in my my root directory or my working directory. We needed to change CD, change the path. Yeah. Okay, let's run the plot first. Plot dot pi. You see, it's very convenient. No, let's uh, run the second. We we are start Python first in this case. Python, then import greeting as GT, or maybe, oh yeah, we use this one. Yeah, GT dot hello Jack. Yeah, hello Jack. Yeah, it's very fast. Yeah. Okay, let's continue to the second topic. How to write external Jupyter notebook dot ipy mb files. Uh, here it means you know uh, we are working uh, working uh, uh, with a Jupyter notebook. We we are running another Jupyter notebook inside this Jupyter notebook. Yeah, let's see how to do it. For example, this is a yeah sale of Jupyter notebook. We want to run another Jupyter notebook file inside. Yeah, this one we are working on. Let's see. I prepare uh, also the very simple one. Is hello. Let's see. Is a hello. Yeah, the same. In fact, the same function. But I here I just uh, you know call the function at the end of uh, this function. Yeah, hello function. Let's see how to write. It. We also use a percent yeah the magic command run this hello but this time it's i pi mb file another Jupyter notebook let's run it yeah it's hello jack it's very handy now let's see how to run codes from a uh, Python or IPython shell sessions. I prepare a link. Let, let's see. Let's click to the link. For example, there's a, there's some codes. This codes you like it very much. You want to copy and test it. Usually we are delete this prompt a prompt. Yeah, but here you can copy the whole things. Copy the thing. 
we passed in the shell we create directly let's see yeah no problem so it's very convenient and handy we needn't to remove all these uh, prompt prompts okay let's see from my ipad on shell this link i for example we find maybe this one we just copy uh, maybe also this core function copy then we uh, go to our sh shell ipad on shell uh, the cell okay let's write directly and see yeah it's a four the results are square of a two yeah so it's very convenient okay thanks all for the video thank you for your watching uh, i hope uh, this video will be helpful to you thank you see you in other videos